Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So this is the same day my dad slightly assaulted me this morning. But it is now six in the six or seven in this afternoon. Yeah, like six in this afternoon. Anyway, so I wait for him to go, I wait for him to leave, and then I went out there ten or eleven ish, and I just went for a little go kart ride. And, oh, I felt so good just to drive on that road. Just went for a little go kart ride, and man, it felt. Good. It took all the stress out of me. Just sit in there and just slowly creep. Oh, that felt so good. I'm going to have to do it from now on whenever I'm stressed. Anyway, welcome back to another fucking Minecraft video. <laughs> Hold on. Warning! My videos may contain cuss words, sexual jokes, and maybe some offensive jokes. So if you're under 15, please do not watch. Let's get started. Anyways, so I created this world. Yeah, this all of this was fucking hard to find. Literally. I created this world. I don't remember the seed of it. Anyway, so I spawned it in a sandy desert. Spawned in a sand... I spawned it between a desert and a... I, I spawned somewhere between a desert, Acadia Bottom, and a little bitty plains bottom, and like right next to a village. And so what I did was I got myself swiftness, swiftness 250, or no, swiftness, or no, speed, slash effect at player, or slash effect at player, speed 1,255. So the 255 is how powerful it is, and the fat and the... 1,000 is the time. So, I had speed for a thousand seconds. Basically, what I did was I just took off with that. I mean, you go so dang fast. I just took off. I went across, I went across like three oceans. And I finally found this big ass chunk of green land. Hold on. It's a mixture of, it's a little bit of green plains with a birch forest, dark oak forest, and some more plains, and some, uh, some little uh, oak forest. So basically what I'm doing was that I found this nice open space of green land so I can rebuild that castle of the two sisters. Now, here, now this is take three. We're, we're going to try this again. Because this time, I found a lot of land. I don't care if there is a birch forest mixed in with a dark oak mixed in with the plain bottom. I don't care. Just as long as the bottom doesn't have snow, I will, I, I'll mix them up. But, and, I can't, like I said, here, here, well, if you want to teleport to these coordinates, here's the coordinates right here. Slash negative 6814 at 64 and negative 1307. And I'll show you the seed. But anyways, I didn't go too far this way because the volume fades off into like another crappy volume. It fades off to like a spruce forest. There it is. There's a spruce forest. So. And I also changed my lock. Since Thanksgiving's coming up, I changed my door lock. I went outside and found uh, we had a cabinet. Anyways, I was looking for a, a door lock that had, you know, that, you know, that turn, that little, that little knob, that little turn knob that locks it. So I went out there, found it, took it off. I stole it on my door. It's a little rough. I think it's just in a bind or might need to be greased up. But it works. I think it's in a bind. But see, the reason why I didn't go this way is because there's just a whole bunch of those. There's that bind there. And then, oh yeah, the reason why I didn't go this way is because there's an ocean. There's an ocean literally right there. So I wanted to stay up 
pretty good distance away from that ocean. So about where I'm at, uh, this world, I don't think it's haunted. If that is a cross, I would be surprised. It is not a cross. I don't know, I don't think this world is haunted. I don't think so. I haven't had any cross, I haven't found any crosses. Is that a cross? That's almost a cross. But I haven't found any crosses yet, which is good. Maybe I'll try spawning Harold Bryan some other time. And I just, basically, I just set my world point and I just got my bed. So I should spawn there if I die, which most likely I'm not going to. I'm not going to go in survival yet. I'm going to build my home. I'm going to get like a bed put in. So I was just going to clear up this little land here. I think my coordinates are set. I'm not for sure. Six ninety two. Like summer around here. Ninety two. I think it was this one right here. No, it's ten. That's ten thirty eight. Oh, 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 back this way. Ten thirty eight. Ten thirty eight. So that's pretty far. Okay. 10, 30. It's right here. Basically, we're just going to slash air. I'm basically just clearing some land so I can get started. I think I have enough room to build Ponyville plus Canterlot. I'm not for sure. I might have to build Kentula on an ocean to take, which, which would suck, by the way. I would hate to do that. But. I'm going to turn on my fan because I'm starting to get some warm, uncomfortable vibes. So let me just. Boop! And let me just. Get the fan going so it can cool me off a little bit. My back is like all warm. Basically, basically, I'm just getting some warm, uncomfortable vibes. Or, un like, uncomfortable feelings. So I'm just going to turn the fan on. Okay, let's see here. 11.58. Wow, I put a lot of negative. So I think I think this area could work out great. I might have to fill in the ocean a little bit. I am not for sure. But we'll worry about the ocean. We're gonna build the castle first, get it completed, get everything around it, get all the towers and everything, and then we'll build the path. Then we'll build Ponyville. That's the one thing I always forget is to build Ponyville. I built the castle, and then I build a whole bunch of trees, and I'm like, oh, I need to build Ponyville, and but I never do. So this time, castle, path, Ponyville, and then we'll worry about the forest. So I actually laid this out, and this is going to be a pretty big one. Like, we got to have a lot of space between each hallway. So let's just hope, hopefully I can get it right this time and plan it right. Okay. Sixty-four, sixty-one. We'll just do grass to kind of fill in the water and everything. This is basically just getting a platform. Okay, that's smart of you, you little old beep. Let's see here. Alrighty then. Let's make that two. Okay, what the living shit? What is going on here? <clears throat> Why is there no negative? What's the oh found an L. What's the lowest level here? Sixty-eight. Can't do that. Yeah. Make sure I fill all this in. I don't know if I can go down to fifty-eight. If I can even fill in that much, I don't know. Oh I can. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, now it comes to the fun part, the slash air. So just sit back, grab the popcorn, whatever you want. I don't give a crap. Do you? That makes you. That will make you comfortable. Let's just slash air this little puss. Sixty-four. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got our platform. How much can we fill in? Oh, dang, that's a lot. And when it comes to guarding the property, I just stay inside. Because <laughs> you're clearly missing the point of guarding the property. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Always pissing. Now, something I'm saying, I'm sure some of you guys are probably wondering, dude, you should just burn down the trees. Well, actually, burning down the trees would be yeah, very glitchy in the firelight. Or, like, the, well, basically, the fire's bugged out, and it'll just light up. Even though the fire goes out, it'll still light up the area around it, so it's just, like, it's really buggy. So that's why I want to use fire. I'm just gonna blow them up. Now, this... I know, I know. Burning them will go a lot faster, but... Do you want to have bugged out? Do you want to have a bugged out light floating, lighting up in midair, or do you want to have, do you want to go like the way I'm going? Here we go. Blow this up. We'll go six. Ah, okay. That saved me a lot of time. Got ourselves some gravel. You know, I'm always running into gravel whenever I do the slash air. I'm always hitting gravel for some reason. So there we go. We got a pretty good chunk. Okay, this should be plenty. That that that, that should be plenty. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know. That that should be plenty. That should be plenty good. That should, that should be more than enough. I don't think I don't think we need it. I don't even think we need that much, but I think that's plenty. Alright, here we go. So let's go right about the bark of this tree here. That's been our next Ooh. Oh wait. A pretty whole I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Got this. Got this. So smash like like. Smash like. Wait, hold on. Smash that. Smash that like button. Punch it in the fucking ass like a pop. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Now the main reason why I don't like the forest when it comes
when it comes to like when it comes to like custom builds from like shows, I don't like the trees. Just, just why? Why trees? Why trees, bro? in there on the TV. Is that old crazy lady, is that lady still alive? She ain't a survivor. She's a demon. Luminati confirmed. She ain't human. She's a robot. Reba's a robot. She's not real. Shoot her. I'll shut up now. Gosh, it's fucking tree. You know, you guys probably, you, I mean, you guys probably, you, I mean, you, yeah, I mean, blah, 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 blah. you guys probably never know what's funny about my videos. Well, here, try this. It's fucking tree. That's 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 a funny. That's a, that that's that, that's funny right there. If you're not laughing, there's something wrong with you. No, give me back the grass! I need it! Do you like my- do you like- do you like my custom skin? Hi there. Oh god, where's my eyes? Who would blink? Who would- who would- who would shut their eyes like that? It's just like, oh, I gotta blink. Okay, there we go. Why would you close your eyes? Because I had to blink. Why would you blink? Why would you close them? This is like... Is there any... Who would... Just look at this. Look at this. One, two, three... Hi, how are you? Look at that! Look how long... Like what the heck? One, two, three. Okay, that, okay, okay. Well, okay. Well, he doesn't keep his eyes closed for like five seconds. Sometimes we rip. Okay, I, I'm just gonna shut now. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to create a conversation. And I get in trouble for causing a conversation, whether it's good, or, whether it's a good one or a bad one. I'm always getting in trouble. Fucking tree! Get it out of here! No one likes you, boo! Get off the stage! Heh, <laughs> jokes, 20th, 2019. Actually, it'll be 2020 pretty soon. Oh yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think Trump is gonna do for 20? Or 2020? What do you think Trump's gonna do? Probably nothing. We are going to build a wall 10 years later. The wall's not done. We will build the wall. Five years later, the wall still isn't done. Donald Trump, just move this block already. Move it, come on. As you guys, don't worry guys, we will build a wall. Five years later, the wall's not done. You know, so then I'm starting to think we will, I'm starting to think Donald Trump will never get the wall done. Well, do you have any idea how long it is to build a wall? Like, all the way around the entire United States. You know how long that would take? That would take someone's life. That would, that would take someone's entire life just to build a wall all the way around the United States. I don't think he's building a wall all the way around the United States. I think he's just... I think he's going to build the wall wherever there's land. Wherever the United States comes contact... Cut, or, wherever the United States comes... Cut, because... Wherever the United States comes contact with land, I think that's where the wall is going to be. Oh, so the terrorists could just use boats to get in. Yeah, that's that's what the, that's what the that's what the military is for. Right? They just bomb them. They just shoot them, open fire. <laughs> shoot them when they come by. Shoot the.
boats! Take the boats down! Shoot them! Open fire! Man it! Man it! Fucking grass! <laughs> what the fuck was that? It was you, sheep? I didn't know what that was. I was like, dude, was that a hairbrush? Just a sheep just walked like right next to me. I was like, what the heck? What was that? But it was nothing. Just imagination. Da da da. Hey, wanna play like that, huh? You can play like that. Try that. Savage. Yo! Oh my beep, he's dead! Yo, yo, he dead! Yo, he dead! That homie's dead. I guess you could say he got bogged. No, nothing? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Best joke of Wait, what? Dead is when 
Something isn't alive. Something isn't alive? You killed the dang fish! No! I'm a, I'm a fishy murderer. Throw me in jail, Bobby. I'm a murderer. It's just a fish. We can get a new one. Yay! The, uh, like three days later, the kid, the kid, they get a new fish. Mommy, the fish ain't moving. That's because you killed it. Why? Why would you make me like this, Bobby? Why would you make me do this? Why would you? Why, Mommy? Why? Why what? Why would you? Why would you make me a murderer? Why am I born? I, I, can't, I can't even. I can't even properly make a joke. That's that's because you killed it. It's okay. Dad! Daddy? What kind of murder am I? And like a couple days later, the kid dies from starvation. <laughs> Rest in peace. Hey, Mom! Look, here's the dog's head. What the? What? What'd you do? I thought I was dog and then I just ripped its head off. I can go reattach it. I just need a lot of glue. No, 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 give me that. I, you, you had enough. No more animals. M mommy, no! Hey, quit throwing a fit and go to your room. Shut up! Where'd you get that language? I don't know. I'm three years old. I don't know where I got this language. Probably from you two. Because you two argue a lot. Hey, our arguing is normal. Pretty normal to me. You're the worst mommy and daddy ever. Oh, that's it, mister. Go to your room. Spank, spank. Don't you hit me. Dead. <laughs> Honey? Honey? I didn't do anything. Keep our hands for ourselves. Tag your head dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. La 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 This is the story of John Jr. John Jr. was a three-year-old child that uh, was raised in a mental asylum. Uh, there's a lot of weird mysteries about what the hell is wrong with this kid, no one knows. Well, let me tell you how the story went. Once upon a time, in Billy's home, Bill Billy Jr. got a dog. And Billy Jr. loved the dog. But Billy Jr. wasn't aware that strike was going to happen. So Billy Jr. was petting the dog, and then all of a sudden the dog's head came off. The blood and guts went everywhere, and Billy Jr. was scared. 
who barely junior picked up the dog's head, took it in the kitchen, and he showed it to mom and dad. <laughs> mom and dad were like, what the fuck? <laughs> And mommy daddy's like, Billy Jr., what did you do? And Billy Jr. said, I thought I was just petting the dog, but then its head came off. I can put it back together, I just need some glue. No, no, give me the head. You had enough animals for one day. Go to your room. Why? Just go to your room. You're grounded. For what? For killing the dog. I didn't kill the dog, said Billy Jr. And mom said, don't argue with me. Get your ass in your room. And Billy Jr. was like, fuck you. And mommy's like, where'd you get that language? And Billy Jr. says, probably from you two, because you two argue a lot. And then mommy said, our arguing is normal. And Billy Jr. said, that's pretty normal to me. Piss off, mom. And Billy Jr.'s like, that's it. And mom goes, spank, spank, spank. So Billy Jr. says a couple spanks. And then Billy Jr. throws a fit. And then, out of nowhere, Mommy falls on the floor. And the husband's like, Honey! Billy Jr.'s like, Mommy! What up, Mommy? And so the daddy so the, so then So then the husband checks the mommy's mother's uh, pulse. And she's not moving, and she's, she's not, she's dead. And, and the, hus the husband said, Mommy's like, and Billy Jr. said, She's dead? Yeah. What did you do? She just gave me a spanking. Yeah. And I'm going to give you one, too. So, so Daddy, so Daddy gives Billy Jr. a spanking. And then out of nowhere, the husband falls on the ground, too. He, too, was dead. And then Billy Jr. says, Sister, there's something wrong with Mommy and Daddy. And then the sister says, Don't fucking touch me. Billy Jr. says, Why? And the sister says, If you touch me, I will die. And Billy Jr. said, Rent falling to the ground. Another happy ending. Chapter 2. Billy Jr. Since mommy, daddy, and sister was dead, Billy Jr. had a hard time falling asleep at night. And the next morning, and the next morning, grandma came over. And she saw mommy, daddy, and the sister laying on the floor. So then she dialed the 911. So then, Billy Jr. comes down here, Grandma? And then Grandma said, Billy Jr., I should have told you, we should have told you this sooner. I should have told you, I should have told you about your powers. What powers? You kill everyone you touch. Whoever, whoever you touch dies in uh, some weird way. If it's an animal, it's completely random. If it's a person, they just fall on the ground. So, I'm sorry, Billy Jr., but you're going to jail. Billy Jr.'s like, how are they going to put me in cuffs? They can't touch me. And Grandma said, you're not going to jail. They're going to shoot you in the head. So then, the cop shows up, so sit right there in that chair, so sit right there in that chair, don't move! So then the cop shows up, and the cop says, is it time? The grandma says, yeah, put a bullet in his head. So the cop goes in, aims the gun, shoots the kid, another happy ending. Chapter 4! <laughs> Billy Jr. ends up in heaven. And then Billy Jr. went around and began to start touching every single angel in heaven. All the angels fell to the ground and they were dead. Another happy ending. Another funny story. So, let me let me close let me close the
comment down below. How was that story? Was it entertaining? Probably not. I don't know. Anyway, let's get started. So I just completely got sidetracked. But anyway, here we go. Billy, Billy, Billy Jr. He kills everyone he touches. <laughs> what a song. Billy, Billy Jr. Whoever he touches dies, dies, dies. Billy Jr. Not responsible to anyone who has... Billy Jr. is not responsible to anyone who has died. These recommends can be solved at call 911 at billyjr.com. Please do not register Billy for being a criminal because he is just a fucking three-year-old who kills everybody he touches. Then, God's like, Billy Jr., you killed all my angels, you are going to hell. So then Billy Jr. wakes up in the pit of hell, on fire. And so then Billy Jr. goes around and starts touching everyone else. He even touched Satan. And Satan's like, heh, you can't kill me, I'm already dead. So then, so then Billy Jr. tried to touch Satan. And Satan's like, give me your powers. And so, Billy Jr. lost his powers forever. Another happy ending. <laughs> and after that, Billy Jr. was sent back to heaven, and all the angels rose from the dead. Another happy ending. <clears throat> Not a happy ending, actually. And then, God's like, no. Go. Go back to hell right now. You are not welcome here. So Billy Jr. went back to hell. And Satan's like, no, get in the fire. No, go back to heaven. And then they just went back and forth. Go to heaven, go to hell, go to heaven. And they were just arguing back and forth, back and forth. And eventually they didn't know. Billy Jr. was so confused, he didn't know where to go. So he just went back to earth. I'm sure you're probably wondering, how how does that make any logical sense? I don't know. But then Billy Jr. was a ghost. And, you know, being dead, so Billy Jr. went back down to earth, and he ran into Grim Reaper. And Grim Reaper gave Billy Jr. his powers back. So then Billy Jr. just went around as a ghost and killed everybody and just killed everybody all around the world. Another happy ending. <laughs> Billy, Billy Jr., he kills everyone he touches, and there's nothing we can do about it. End of the world. Billy Jr., all alone. Billy, Billy Jr. He kills everyone he touches. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay, that's enough. Let me in the comments down below. How was the story? Do you guys want me to tell stories like this? I just came up. I, that, that, that story was just random. It just came out of nowhere. I was just like, eh, fuck it. Let's make a story. Zombie HJU Warning! Zombie HJU Zombie HJU's channel is not responsible to any problems that may happen sometime in the future. If you got a problem with this story, you can contact YouTube at YouTube.com and you can complain to them and let them do nothing about it. <laughs> Billy, Billy Jr. <laughs> okay, that's enough. What the fuck are we doing with our lives? We fucking up big time, homie. <laughs> All right, here we go. Billy Jr. Not copyrighted. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that kid? Oh my goodness. I'm going to start using that as my intro. <laughs> Alrighty.
Alrighty then, let's get started. <laughs> okay. Billy, Billy Jr. Shut up! Okay. Duck! Mr. Ducky was a weird duck who no one could ever understand what he was talking about. Mr. Ducky was very weird in general. He would pee weird, he would poop weird, and he would talk weird. But there's just one thing that no one knew about Mr. Ducky. Mr. Ducky worshipped the devil. And every time Mr. Ducky would go poop, big skulls would come out of his bowel. And it would clog up the toilet. And it was getting so bad that Mr. Ducky had to poop in a bucket and throw it in a garbage disposal. So those were a lot of bones getting disposed. But hey, Mr. Ducky was soon Five months, uh, three days later, Mr. Ducky was shot. Another happy ending. Quack, 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 quack. Mr. Ducky is now dead. <laughs> so me should do is not responsible to blah, 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 blah. I'm not responsible to blah, 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 blah. I am not responsible to any other, I, basically I'm just not responsible to this person. This is, like I said, this is just coming out of nowhere. Mainly because I'm alone and I'm bored. Yeah, I'm alone 99% of the time. Quack, 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 quack. Mr. Ducky went in the trash. Mr. Ducky, can you hand me the scissors? Okay. <laughs> Ducky! What? I'm gay? What? I can't hand the scissors. Not like that. Now I gotta go bury him in the backyard. Mr. Ducky, hand me the tape. <laughs> Ducky! What? I hand him the tape. Not like that. Ducky, Mr. Ducky, Ducky. He doesn't know how to throw stuff. And when he does, it ends up killing everybody. Mr. Ducky, hand me the ball. <laughs> Ducky? What? At least he's not dead. Oh, actually he's bleeding. Not like that, Mr. Ducky. Ducky, Ducky, Ducky. Kills everyone whenever he throws stuff. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey, Ducky, hand me the Frisbee. Ducky? What? <clears throat> Not like that. Well, if you think you can do it better, you give it a try. Ducky, Ducky, Ducky. Mr. Duck went to jail. Hey, hey, waitress. Hey, me. Hey, waitress. Uh, I can't even do the voice. Hey, waitress. Uh, hey, waitress. Hand me the scissors. So the waitress throws Ducky the scissors. Waitress! Not like that! <laughs> Not just Ducky, it's everybody. Hey Ashley, can you hand me a pencil? Sure. <laughs> Ashley, not like that. As soon as everybody ended up behind bars. <laughs> Mr. Ducky Wucky. Mr. Ducky Wucky can't throw stuff properly. And when he does, everybody just ends up dying. 
Mr. Ducky Wacky. He plays with the baby and he threw it into a wall. Mr. Ducky, can you give the baby a bath? Sure. Ducky! What? What happened to the baby? I put him in the bathtub. He's dead! Oh. Ducky! Not like that! Mr. Ducky Wacky, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing and he doesn't know how to just blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, not done. Or am I? Mr. Ducky Wacky. Mr. Ducky, can you play with the baby? I wouldn't ask Ducky if I were you. Why? He seems like a wise duck. Oh, so now you call me a duck. You're racist. <laughs> Mr. Ducky Wacky. He sliced that dude's head off and he, post and he posted it on YouTube. Mr. Ducky Wacky. Chapter 2. Mr. Ducky Wacky was just walking around in the park. And he saw some children. What did Mr. Ducky do? Well, he did the most inappropriate thing to the children I have ever seen. Okay, we do not need to know. No, 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 no. Let me go full detail. No, shut up. There's a lot of young kids watching this video, dude. Don't be talking like that. Mr. Ducky went, eh, and then he went, eh. <laughs> oh, God. And soon, all the kids were dead. Mr. Ducky Wucky, he raped the kid, and then the kids were pregnant, and then they died at the same time. Mr. Ducky Wucky, someone needs to kill this duck. There's, there's something wrong with him. <laughs> Mr. Ducky Wucky. Mr. Ducky Wucky was taking a shower. Oh no. Mr. Ducky Wucky. Ducky Wucky's uh, cousin came over, and she was hot. So Mr. Ducky went, in the, went to take a shower. After the shower, Mr. Ducky Wucky's cousin went to bed. And Mr. Ducky Wucky snuck into her room in the middle of the night. Okay, uh, we don't need to know. And, well, Mrs. And. While Mr. Ducky Wucky's cousin was sleeping, Mr. Ducky Wucky pulled out, he pulled out his thingy, and he shoved it up the cousin's butt. Oh. <laughs> A couple minutes later, the police were called, and Mr. Ducky Wucky went to jail for sexual assault. Mr. Ducky Wucky, Mr. Ducky Wucky, are you a rapist? Well, let me see here. I raped some children, and then they died. And then I raped my cousin. So yeah, I guess you can say I'm a rapist. Be good, because when you get to prison, there's going to be plenty of rape to go on about. Oh. Mr. Ducky Wucky, what do you have to say about raping your cousin? At least she didn't die. Because all the other times I've been... Doing stuff, people just end up dead. So, Mr. Ducky Wucky, do you like being a rapist? And Mr. Ducky Wucky said, Well, I raped my cousin, and well, she didn't die, so I'm not a murderer. But, uh, well, if you're not, well, if your cousin didn't die this time, well, if, well, if your cousin didn't die from your rape, what about the other two kids? What about those kids that you raped in the park? Why did they die? And Mr. Ducky said, I think I was a little, a little rough on them. And then Mr. Ducky Wucky said, I think I was a little rough on them. And then they said, oh really? So Mr. Ducky Wucky, do you like, do you like being, do you like raping little kids and family members. And Mr. Ducky Wucky said, yeah. And and then the news and then the news duck said, well, there could be plenty of rape to go on in prison. So when you get to prison, Ducky Wucky, there will be plenty of rape. Hint, hint, drop the, sh drop the soap in the shower. 
and you will get a big surprise. Later that night, Mr. Ducky Wuffy ended up in the prison. And Mr. Ducky Wuffy was taking a shower in the prison. Surprise, surprise, Mr. Ducky Wuffy accidentally slipped the... He accidentally dropped the soap, and Mr. Ducky Wuffy got a big surprise from a big motherfucker. And that big motherfucker... Rick, Mr. Ducky Wucky, so hard and so long, Mr. Ducky Wucky ended up dead. Mr. Ducky Wucky, I don't know what I'm talking about, so favorite, like, comment, subscribe. This video is not, I'll put a warning at the, hey, 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 I said a warning at the beginning of my video. Hey, I, hey, I give you that. You guys should give me that, like, literally. I said a warning, and I warned you. See you guys on the next one. I got crap. Oh my gosh, my stomach is just... Uh...